Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys I'm at Locals, so if it's loud or anything, I do apologize. But today we're going to be doing a small uh, mail call video. We got some stuff from UPS, and we also have just one thing that came in the mail. So I'll open that first, and then we'll get to the UPS package, which has stuff from Code of the Duelist. Um, some final stuff I need to make deck profiles for you guys, and things of that nature. So, yeah. A lot of deck profiles I've been working on lately, because it's been the UVU off-season, and just in general... I've been having fun uh, creating a bunch of fun decks. Now this here <laughs> is uh, really, really, um, this is another token I got. Uh, now, like I said, I've been collecting tokens, like cards from other card games that I use as tokens and things of that nature. Like I've been telling you guys, I've been doing that a lot lately um, because I enjoy using different tokens. At the moment, scapegoat's not banned. Uh, and just for other token decks I use and just for link markers and link zones so I don't have to keep flipping through all my decks I usually use these cards as different zones like for main monster, you know, the, 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 the division between each of our extra de main extra deck monster zones so as you can see here we have uh, fairy tale <laughs> and we have sword art online so just one card from fairy tale, one of my favorite characters from fairy tale and one of my favorite characters from Sword Art Online, which I haven't watched in a while, but I used to watch it uh, a lot more back in the day. Uh, Fairy Tale, I've always loved. Just great anime. So yeah, those are just my two little tokens I use. My waifu tokens, as I call them. We have many of those. But they cost me, I think, like three bucks. Uh, three bucks just for some tokens that I can look at. They look nice. Things of that nature. It's never a bad, bad, bad thing, really. All right, so we got some stuff from Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles, again. Let me just get everything out here. I love the fact that they send me binders now, which is just awesome. Protects the cards very well, and transportation, and on top of that, I get my cards. And as you can see here, we got some rest of the danger stuff, which is awesome. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, there we go. So they sleeved everything, which is awesome. I should build a deck out of all the sleeves they've given me over the years. Um, so we got three Bigfoots. Um, pretty straightforward. Oh, they didn't sleeve this one up. That's fine. It's okay. Uh, three Bigfoots for danger. It's the last card I need. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, two Cyber Dragons. I ordered two. They sent me three. I am 90% sure. I ordered two and they sent me three. Well, thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles. <laughs> so I ordered three. This is why they sent me... I ordered two of them. They sent me three of them. My three hurts. I got a free card! Yay! <laughs> I'm not joking, that's so cool. Okay. Um, three Danger Chupacabra for the deck. You could run one or two of this. I'm just getting a place that they were cheap. And then one more Danger Zone I needed for the deck build. So guys, we are going to be continuing today's mail call video with another opening of some very, very cool stuff that I got from Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles. Mainly stuff from Shadows of Valhalla, uh, mainly the Valkyrie deck that I've been wanting to build literally all summer long. So let us get to this. I have been wanting to play this deck for so long. Uh, the Valkyrie deck, and even so, I've been wanting to play it, and I've been listening to, if you guys do not know, there's even a song about, called March of the Ride of the Valkyrie, which is such a cool song. Uh, it's, a old, it's just like a German composition, because, um, you know, Valkyries are made, based off German lore and uh, Nordic mythology, I believe it is. Um, they do work with the Ajir, the, you know, Odin and Thor and everything that are from that pantheon of gods. And um, they are pretty much like the great warriors of Asgard. Pause the video for one second. All right.
it, Mike. Just cut that part out as I look for the box cutter. <laughs> what the hell is it? <laughs> ah, my cards are going everywhere. Damn it. Hang on. You can edit this part out. I know you can. I'm sorry. Where the hell is the box cutter? Oh, I know I thought it was right next to me when I got I did the video. Huh. Oh. No wonder why. It was right behind me. Okay. So now you can start streaming. I get you can edit. Okay guys, we are back now. Uh, sorry, I had to get my box cutter so I could open this tape up and not take forever with opening in this video because otherwise it would have taken me probably another good 10 minutes to just open up everything and get it done. Go through everything. So we'll start off here. Let's see what we got. So two via the Valkyrie. There's the third one right there, as you can see. So let me just break this down because I'm going to make the deck profile soon after I do this. Valkyrie, Twin Twister, one Shadal Fusion. I picked the rest of them up from my friends of mine. Uh, three Golden Bamboo, uh, one Speed High Reward Chambara. I got a whole bunch of those. Uh, one El Shadal Winda. I uh, got one Secret Twin Twister. One Seraphonite Secret. Uh, we got one Ash Blossom. I actually have two, so now I got three. So now I got a play set. And oh my gosh, that looks so. Actually, kind of looks nice as a super rare. I will admit that. Um, Azathoth, got two of those. Two Nayarla, just for different deck builds. I, some of you guys have been asking me to build a deck of this. I. Don't know if you it's going to be that good, but I can maybe try around with it eventually when I have some free time. But don't expect me to make something out of nothing. Uh, three Invoke Macaba. Let me scoot this stuff down here. Three Macaba. Uh, three Secret Alistair. Three Invocation. Oh, two Invocation. Well, you only need two for the deck. Maybe there's a third one floating around. Because um, you really need only two invocation. That's fine. Uh, three magical meltdown. And then Omega summon just because they sent it. It was like a. It's like for 30 bucks you got everything. And then you also got on top of it. I think it was like for $30, $40. Uh, you also got the Alistair invoke. So pretty much you got the entire Alistair core. I think it was for $35. Something like that. Which is a pretty good deal, I thought. Uh, then we also got the second Grand Nin uh, um, Ninja card, uh, Link Monster, so we can rebuild ninjas. I already have the Ninja deck, but it's so cool now that I get to hollow it out more. Uh, three Yellow Ninja, the Dragon Ninja, the new one. The artwork looks so cool on this stuff. Let's start down here, too. Uh, ninjas, Ninjas. I'll probably get... Ooh, these Hanzos look really dark. But I have my secrets and my ultimates, so I'm fine. Uh, Red Dragon, Ninja, Strike Ninja. I am so mad still that they robbed Strike Ninja to once per turn. Like, people do not know how mad I am about this because this was my favorite ninja. I, I really am kind of upset about that. Three Twilight, but I already have the original copies. Upstart Goblin, Golden Ninja. That's awesome. We got a hollow rare of this. I'm really, 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 really happy about this. Three Yellow Ninja. And three Hidden Village, which is awesome. Which... This was like the most pulled, like, the best pulled secret I saw out of everybody that was pulling boxes of mine. Like, besides your Alistair, the Invocation, and things of that nature. Like, if I'm playing Blue Eyes uh, Link, like Blue Eyes Invoke, which we will probably do, um, you only need one of this, really. You don't need two, so it's fine. Uh, we have the other Ride of the Valkyrie, so we have three of that. We have our three Mission for the Time Goddess, which looks, oh my gosh. I don't know, but I remember when I was looking at the the artwork for over here, it looked a lot um, like lighter colors. Like it wasn't as it didn't pop out at me as much. But I'm looking at this version from Yu Gi Oh Singles, and I don't know what it is, but it just looks a little bit darker and pops more. But we got three of those. I've been wanting to build this deck. I didn't care. Uh, three Boonhilda, which is my favorite. Uh, 
We have the little ones. We may not run these the more I've play tested it, but we have them just in case. You know, the three things. They're, they're pretty good cards, but like I don't know. Verdict, you know, Oracle, uh, things of that nature. Then we got Drite, which is your searcher for the deck. So we got that stuff. And we got Ninjutsu Armor, this spell card. Like I have a lot of these, so I'll probably use them as trade bait, but they look so cool. I may have to switch them out. Uh, three Mist Rain, the three Transformation. We don't go into Apex Avian that much anymore, though. Transformation, the new Nijutsu Art tr Transformation card, which is kind of cool. What's this here? Uh, there's the other ones. Valkyrie Esther, uh, Valkyrie Zwaita. I think I'm pronouncing these right. If I'm wrong, forgive me. Um, yep, and then Fortune Chariot. And so that's all of them. So I am... Very excited to build the Valkyrie deck. I'm very excited to build ninjas, and I'm just excited to play with different Invoke engines. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm really tired at the moment. I just woke up, and the mail came, and I was like, oh, oh, I'll put this with the other mail call video. So thank you to my editor, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully we'll get to these deck profiles very quickly. I have a lot of deck profiles that I'm working on for you guys. Um, but we're also waiting on a ban list at this moment in time. So the sooner the ban list comes, the sooner we get to do a whole bunch of deck profiles. <laughs> but see you guys next time. No fear, I'm standing right here. Eyes peer with my mind clear. Never look rear, only up. Never down, off the ground till I'm found. Hear the sound, listen to me now. As the beat pounds, every ass of my effort pouring now. So you never have a doubt. Do you like me now? Am I good enough now? Should I get more loud? Till you hear the fucking sound? Oh no, I'm losing my